if this water sensor detects any water. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check out Yolink's water leak sensor. But not only the sensor, they also have a water valve controller which I will set up an automation so that when the leak sensor detects water, it will automatically turn off our main water valve. A lot of security companies like Ring which I have a couple of their water leak sensors and I know WISE have some also. But the most of these sensors can do is to notify you when the sensor gets wet or if there's a water leak. But how about if you or your family are out of town or at work? The time for you to be able to drive back home or have one of your neighbors check out your house, the damage is done. And it just gets worse every minute that passes before you can turn off the water supply. I've looked around online for a smart valve controller which most of them are pricey. And even Ring and the Ring app can be integrated with Moen's Flow but they are pretty expensive. And you need to tap into your water line to install it. Plus, it needs to be plugged in. And you need to cough out another $250 for a battery backup. Where my main water valve is, there is no power outlet. Before we dive in, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. I then found Yolink wireless valve controller and I purchased the kit that comes with the valve controller that is battery powered, a bulldog valve manipulator, hub, and three leak sensors. There's no need to tap into your water line and the bulldog valve manipulator is the one that will turn your water ball valve open or closed using your existing valve handle. Let's check out what comes in the kit. You will get the Yolink hub which will open up later on, three water leak sensors, and on a separate box we got the valve controller kit. We have a quick start guide, we have the bulldog valve manipulator, and this is the motor and its gears that is going to open and close the water valve. On the end of the wire is the connector that is going to connect to the valve controller. And we have the valve controller and this is weather resistant. And it also houses the batteries, 4 AA's. And as per Yolink can last up to 2.5 years or 900 to 1000 cycles before the batteries needs to be replaced. We have two brackets and this will fit water pipe sizes from half an inch to 1.5 inches. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the smaller bracket. We have some pins and the support bracket. And this is called the Bulldog Valve Robot. As to the hub, it can either be Ethernet or Wi-Fi connected. It is long range up to a thousand feet in open air. And this is needed for you to be able to control your Yolink devices from your phone. Inside you will get a quick start guide. On the back we have the set button, Ethernet port, and a micro USB port for power. It comes with its power adapter, 5 volts 1 amp, an Ethernet cable, and a micro USB cable. As for the sensor, you also get a quick start guide and the sensor itself. We have the water probes on top and also a couple sets on the bottom. And we also have the set button. Now these sensors are powered by two AAA batteries and you have to unscrew the screws under the rubber pads to open this up and replace them. Yolink states that these batteries can last up to 5 years, so I'm not going to open it up yet. Time to set this up. Download, sign up, and log into the Yolink app. Power up the hub with the included power adapter and micro USB cable. Initially, you have to connect the hub to your router using an Ethernet cable. Open up the app and click Add Device. Scan the QR code which is on the back of the hub. Click Bind Device, and it is connected. You will see the hub thumbnail on the app. Click on it to set up Wi-Fi connection. Click the Wi-Fi icon. Type in your Wi-Fi information and click continue. And now you can unplug the hub from your router. And you will see the Wi-Fi icon turn green. Now let's set up the sensor. Click the scanner icon again and scan the QR code on the back of the sensor. Click bind device. Press the set button on the sensor and it will automatically connect. Just to test this out, I have a cup of water here and when the sensor detects water, you will see that you will get alerted. Cool. Now to set up the valve controller, connect it to the Bulldog manipulator by pushing in the connectors and screw the cap tight for weatherproofing. Open up the app, scan the QR code which is on the back of the controller. Click bind device. Press the set button and wait until it is connected. Click close to test it. Yep, it works. Time to install the valve controller. Now don't mind my Life Hackster rig pipe insulation here. This was prior to the Texas freeze last year and this is the only insulation available at that time. And it still works. Also as you can see in the handle, yep, everything outside gets rusted. Luckily the screws of the Yolink are all stainless steel. 
Now time to install the bracket. I need to remove the insulation here on the valve collar and this is where you're going to place this. The motor has some torque to it so don't put the bracket directly on the pipe. Remove the machine screws from the bracket and place it around the valve collar. Screw in the screws and you will need to tighten the screws evenly so it is not going to be lopsided. Slide in the bulldog valve unit in the bracket slot and screw it in with the included machine screw and tighten. Now my water valve is in open position. Attach the support bracket using the pin screws and making sure they are against the valve handle. You might need to readjust and tighten this when the valve is open and also when it is closed. And now let's try this out from the app. So we're going to open it up. That should work. You can install the valve controller nearby and I just drill a hole for the plastic anchor so that I can screw this in my brick wall. I just then use zip ties to tidy up the wires. Time to program the automation. So on the app, click the smart icon in the bottom. Click automation. Add automation and name it. And I'll name mine water valve shutoff. Click the plus sign, device actions, leak sensor, and choose when water is detected. Click behavior. Click device actions, check the Yolink valve, and choose close. Click the check mark to save. The only thing is that you need to add a separate automation on each of your sensors. So if you have three sensors, then you have to program three automations. All right, so to test this out, I have a cup of water right here, and I also have the uh, Yolink sensor. So if this water sensor detects any water, I'll get a notification on my phone and also the valve is gonna get is gonna be closed automatically how cool is that right there cool there's another option to automate closing of the valve and this is through yolink control the benefit of this is that the communication is just between the sensor and the valve control and this will work without the hub or the internet to set this, press and hold the set button at the sensor for 5 to 10 seconds until the LED quickly blinks green. Release the button. As to the valve, make sure it is closed and press and hold the set button for 5 to 10 seconds until it is flashing green, then release. Now, I didn't set the automation on this sensor, so let's try it. Alright, so we're gonna test the uh, sensor and I have the cup of water right here and I'm in my kitchen, which one of the sensors will be uh, placed. And we are going to open up the live view of the, the valve right there. So it's open right now. So let's try this out with the sensor. Cool. Not shutting off the water supply. How cool is that? Also, this works with Amazon Alex A. Turn off your link valve. Okay. Overall, setup and installation is easier than I thought. I like that I don't need to remove, tap in, or work on my water pipes, and also it is battery powered. So no need to have a power outlet nearby, which in my case, where my main water valve is, I don't have access to power. Now I can control my main water valve in the app and from anywhere. And I'm rest assured that if any of my water leak sensors gets tripped, my main water valve will be automatically closed and flood damage will be kept at a minimum. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.